A federal court is halting the use of a widely used chemical in farming. There are fears it may cause brain damage. Eyewitness News' Stuart Hammer looked into it today. Do you want some that are really ripe? Ashley Mattingly has been picking peaches with her dad for just a few years. I'd say this one. But she's already a pro. Growing these fuzzy fruits takes a lot of work, and they need a little help. You have to use some chemicals, otherwise you wouldn't have a crop. Mattingly Farm uses about five sprays to keep their fruit crops bug, weed, and fungus free. But soon there will be one less option on the shelves after a federal court ordered the EPA to ban a pesticide used widely in farming. With all these different pesticides under all these different names, so one of these chemicals that can be used on peach trees is called Lorisban. Lorisban is one of the most common brand names for chlorpyrifos, a chemical that has some scientists concerned it can cause brain and nerve damage. You have an active ingredient that has been banned and there's many labels uh, and, and so it, it'll be a big hit. The EPA banned household use of the chemical in 2000. In the landscape and turf industry uh, it's one of probably one of the top three or four insecticides used. I didn't know it was in Laura's band until I looked it up. The chemical is popular among farmers of a variety of crops because of its effectiveness against a wide range of bugs. While the Mattingly say they've never had a need for it, other farmers surely have. You kind of put a lot of your trust in these companies to do their research correctly and to put things out on the market that we can spray on food. Chlorpyrifos has been used since the 1960s, but in the next two months, its use and possible residue left behind on food will be history. We need to trust the USDA and APA and, and all the people making these decisions. Stuart Hammer, Eyewitness News. Thank you very much. Thank you. According to the USGA, between 2011 and 2015, more than 5 million pounds of the chemical were sprayed by farmers each year.